Hello there, internet dwellers. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are reacting to more Discord submissions from yours truly. Is that how you say that? Yours truly refers to me, actually, doesn't it? From you guys. That's what I meant to say, not from me. If you're not part of my Discord already, join it down below. If you've got something scary to send me, pop it in the Scare Baz submission page. And if I react to the thing that you put in there, I'll give you a shout out. And that is what I'm doing today. But before the video actually begins, guys, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. This right here is the majority of my content. Uh, analog horror, VHS, some spooky games, just general horror. I'm on a journey to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And any help with that is greatly appreciated. That being said, we're going to move on with the video. The first video we've got was sent in by Wedding Code 598 on my Discord. Thank you for the submission. I appreciate it. It's called Home Invasion.mp4 FNAF VHS by Gabe Lanier. L Lanier, maybe. This is episode one, apparently. So there's 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 more of this. But yeah, we're gonna jump straight into this. From the thumbnail, it's looking um terrifying. So here we go. Let's jump in. Oh damn, straight away, straight away. Like there was no like Okay. Oh. What the hell just happened? There's a kitchen. There's the living room, I guess. Oh, the door's open now. But where is Springtrap? Oh, there he is. I, I think I see it. <laughs> what is it? I, I don't know. It's like a deer in headlights, isn't it? A deer when a, when a, when a lorry's plowing at them at 50 miles per hour this is its reaction <laughs> given that that light skin stare all right okay where's it heading it's got some spring traps got some massive feet it's like it's like constantly wearing he'd be a great diver i reckon where's he gone Oh, is this like a concept in which you kind of got to beat them beat him away you got to beat spring trap off oh here he goes <laughs> Look at that face. So I can imagine him just falling down the stairs and just trying to be all menacing, but falling down the stairs. Michael, where are you, Michael? Come out with Help me. Oh, my leg. My leg. Why would you take your eyes off of him at this point? Is it, see, he's gone now. He's gone. That's it. You messed up. You screwed up. He's in. Where is he? Oh. Oh, he do be moving. Uh-oh. Clara. Clara, open the door. Open the door, Clara. It's me. It's me, Michael Afton. I need help, Clara. Open the door. Please. Hey! Open the door! Okay, well... Oh, he's clapping cheeks. <laughs> what would you say? Oh, shoot. oh, he was shot. Nine one one. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry, sorry, ma'am. Could you could you repeat that? Yeah, I couldn't actually hear you. You said a man dressed as a rabbit broke into your. Are you on drugs? All right, calm, calm down, ma'am. Calm down. Send the unit over to you Good as quickly as possible. Good joke. Hangs up. Find some place safe to hide in. Okay, well, man, I mean, you know what? America. America, guys. Oh, yeah, got that Second Amendment on the go. And you used it. Rightfully so. Okay, you defended it. It should have been a double barrel shotgun to take him down. What the fuck? Why is the door off? Did it, did it escape? Why would the door need to be... Oh. Policia. Rest in peace, Officer Marcus Graham. What the? Okay, we missed a bit here. We missed a couple of chapters, I think. What? Unfortunately, died in a fatal car crash this past Tuesday while on call to a break in situation. 
The cause of the crash is unknown. We suspect a deer may have jumped in front of the car. Oh, freaking William just got shot. Our condolences go out to his fam friends and family. So William just got... Sh My guess here is what they're alluding to is that they ran... He ran over Springtrap. William. So he was shot like four times there or how many of the times he was shot. Slumped. And he's like, oh, oh, let's get out. For some reason, he decided to completely slam the door down, even though it was already open. I mean, it's, I don't know. Like, why would you do that? You've been shot. You've got no energy. Let's smash the door down. Walked out, saw a police officer. and was like, police officer, I've been shot. Bang. Then he gets smacked over. Very unlucky. I'm sure it probably didn't go down like that. I mean, he's probably trying to escape, but who knows? I mean, what I want to see what spring, unless Springtrap was in the road. And then the cop was like, what the fuck? And then just like crashed into a tree. But it didn't look like that happened. There we go. That was good, guys. That was uh, Home Invasion by Gabe Lanier. So be sure to go like, subscribe. All the creators that I watched today will be linked in the order that I watched them in the description down below. So please go and support them. I'm going to move on now, guys, to the chamber. This was submitted to my Discord by Sans. So thank you for the submission. Now, this is part of an ongoing series called the Basewood County Analog Horror Series. The gist of it is there's a humanoid creature that's terrorizing this county. I think it already killed like 11 people and then it's kill killing more people. And I don't think they're able to really contain it from what I, uh, from what I know. It's by Dark Mind, by the way, if I haven't said that already. So the description says this. The chamber in the woods where they come from. The fourth video from the Basewood County series. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Dark Mind is a fantastic creator, so I already know this is going to be really good. So be sure to go support them. Basewood County. Actually, it should be more of a... No, not that. No, not that. No, not, that. not that. There we go. A chamber in the woods where they come from. Oh my god. I thought that was his chin. Like, let's go back for a second. Look at that. I thought that was his chin. God damn, crimson chin looking ass. Okay, here we go. Mr. Calvin Basewood discovered an odd building in the woods in 1868. Also, oh, he discovered it in what now named after him Basewood County. Yeah. In his diary, he said that it looked like something from the future, a building that no one knew existed. No one knew who built it. He entered the building and saw people. They looked like human beings, but something was strange about them. They had big swinging phalluses. They showed no emotions or why? Why? Why did you say that? <laughs> Listen, me and you are going to, we're going to talk about this after this video. Okay. We, we can't be saying stuff like that out loud. They showed no emotions or response. They had unnatural limbs and tree roots coming from their backs. They began to show hostile behavior. He escaped the place. Okay. The hills have eyes. He called it the chamber. The chamber of Seacrest. The chamber of Seacrest. Right. The chamber of Ryan Seacrest. Oh my. I will wear your skin as a suit. Now, I don't think it will fit you. Right, I'm sure you'll figure, figure, figure something out. Andy Stevens, missing. It's the most generic name ever. <laughs> oh my god, look at that neck. It's almost as long as mine. Look at that. Andy Stevens after the transformation. It, it's kind of like Gemini Home Entertainment in a way. Philadelphia Group. In 1996, a group of researchers from Philadelphia, US, went to investigate the case of missing people in only one month in Basewood County. They went through, they went across the county and Basewood Forest and recorded the journey. This is what they saw. What did they see? Andrew Stevens. Me, me, brother. My name's Andrew Stevens. This is what I sound like. The chamber. Oh, okay. This is the chamber in the woods. Got you. Okay. Doesn't look like a chamber in the woods. Oh, God. So this is where they were created, did, did they say? Of course, there's that spooky ass music. It's always the way, isn't it? And why can't these monsters upgrade and to like go from vinyl? I mean, vinyl is nice. It's a nice sounding thing. Come on, this sounds like a gramophone, actually. Bro, what year are we living in? 
Get an MP3 player at least. Get like a bass boomer. A ghetto blaster, whatever they're called. They entered the chamber of Seacrest. Stop saying that, it's not funny, Ryan. Oh my god. The chamber right corner. So some guy had his freaking head blown off. It looks like Saw, doesn't it? This looks like something from Saw in the bathroom. Oh my god. Humpty Dumpty fell off the wall. My god, it's what's his name? Go Joseph Gordon Levitz. Look, doesn't that look like Joseph Gordon Levitz? <laughs> I need to shut up. What's wrong with me? I'm hyper today. Um, what the fuck is that? Is that Snappy or whatever his name is? What's his name from Go Goosebumps? Snappy? Sp spammy? Snappy. Uh, okay, location chamber left zone. Entrance from the hallway. So there's a VHS. I don't know what that said on the television playing a distorted face with a VCR and a tape titled Identity Test. Okay, so that was a previous test or a previous video that we've seen. Paper stuck on the wall. I will tell you what your mind cannot comprehend. Well, you fucking can't do any of that because you blew that guy's brains out. Clock table with human remains and a skull on it. Location, the chamber left corner. Good God, what are they doing here? Corpse of a woman with breaks and holes in her body. Her eyes were missing and her mouth had no teeth in it. Her skin was melting like wax. My good God. Roots coming from his back. Jesus Christ, how long has he been there to grow roots? Have roots coming out of him? That's not normal. The group got out of the chamber. They went to Basewood Forest. Was that, is that what I just said? Basewood Forest, yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's just go into the forest after seeing uh, that um, freaking Texas Chainsaw Massacre crap, yeah. Sure, nothing bad will happen here. There's no crazy people roaming around the woods or the forest. Wow, where is this place? It looks just like completely abandoned. I always ask like, what, why can't stuff be done with like abandoned? All right. What the fuck? Oh my God. Look at that thing. Only two members of the group out of seven survived. Did you not arm yourselves? The chamber map. Okay, so this is where they saw the... Okay. Okay, so right zone. So this is the entrance. Left zone was the, the VHS with the TV. Right zone didn't really have anything in it. Ana anatomy papers. Okay. We found... Okay, the... Why can't you just write normally? What the hell? Chamber... The window where they they come from. They come from. Oh, the okay. What is a human? I don't, oh God! Hello, I am Doctor. In this tape, I will. T His name's Doctor Fuck, guys. Eat you out the human anatomy. Oh God! The human is a chamber for them. I will show you how they will control your body. The human is a chamber. Here is the human head where consciousness exists. Is, okay. Yeah, I guess so. Can't be disproven. Here like. are the nerves. That's how the head looks after the creatures use it. Right, so what are they These... doing? They're taking the body, they're, they're taking the bodies of people like, like completely hollowing them out and wearing them is like, so it's basically Leatherface, but to like full on costume on the go, like the full on skin suit. So it's Leatherface with extra steps. And here is the core they created so they can control your body. Right. Here okay. is the structure of a humanoid brain. The brain of a humanoid is different from the brain of a humans. It How functions so? only to serve one purpose. Let us in. Here are the characteristics of a humanoid. Long Let us limbs, in. Long fingers, tall, roots coming out of its back, can extend their Look at that. Look how happy tall. this humanoid is. 
Roots coming out of look how happy that look at that smug grin. It's back. That's one happy and humanoid. Their neck. Uncanny facial features, no emotions. Transformation of the humanoid. Oh, good God! Look at them lips. Look at that. What do them lips do? True form. Stage two. Stage three. Stage four. Uh, stage five. It takes time for them to reform the face to look like a human, to look like you. So they, they take your body, get inside it, and it's all messed up to begin with, but then over time, Good lord. The chamber, Basewood County. That was very interesting. I, I enjoy this, uh, an analog horror by Dark Mind. More drawings, film, and effects by me. Well, credit where credit is due. It's very good. Like, very uncanny. I like, like, the, the vibe of it. Uh, I like where the story's going. So there's a chamber. You said there's a window where they come from, but wh why do they come from there? Is it some kind of portal? It's unclear. Uh, maybe I wasn't really paying attention. I was. I am trying to pay attention uh, because I'm. I'm guilty for like just missing key details sometimes. But so do they come out as a human or like as a creature and go into the body, and then take over the body? Or is it some kind of like I don't know little thing that gets inside the body, like the core or whatever? And from that, they can kind of grow. But I'm guessing it's the former, not the latter. Like a mimic, almost. Like a Vita Canis kind of vibes. Well, there we go, guys. That was Dark Mind. That was a very good video. I enjoyed that. Be sure to subscribe to them. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be plenty of awesome videos in the future. So our last video today, guys, is slightly FNAF again, but it's kind of... It's a little bit different. So this is called Barbara's Daycare Found Footage. It was submitted to me on my Discord by Devious Detergent Digester, which is one hell of a name, Jesus. Uh, so thank you for the submission. I appreciate it. But yeah, this is Barbara's Daycare Found Footage by Cham Mamili. And if I if I know who this guy is, they do some, yeah, they do some really, Dora the. Okay, well, let's. I'm going to tread with caution here. She says, I am a gummy bear. So I believe this creator is kind of like it's a, it, they're a mix of, because I haven't actually watched the full video yet. But from what I've seen, they're a mix of comedy and horror blended together. So I'm guessing this is what it's going to be. So let's just get into this. So th this video may contain disturbing images, flashing lights, loud noises, or oiled up men. Well, gosh! Let me in! Yes, let me see. I mean, I don't want to see that. But don't have time for a kiss. Well, we have a solution just Where? for you. Okay. Here at Barbara's Daycare, we'll love some new friends. Some new flesh. At Barbara's Daycare, we have endless. Uh, uh, sorry, what the fuck is happening here? That's the animatronic with without anything bad happening to it. Activity. Puppet show. Go on. I know you're dead. Unless you wanna be dead. Playground. Right. Oh. And war. Looks pretty fun. Oh my god. Was not yeah, you don't say. <laughs> Mm. I don't know what the idiot wants to call it, if they are in It doesn't have a limit. Hey, hey, stop. Ah, okay. So, basically, it's... It's unstoppable, then. My AI doesn't need a limit. It's perfect. Oh, so it was... They, bro, so he just called that guy stupid. I'm fired. Warning. Suit of stability detected. Oh, come oh, on, not again. Oh, not again? Oh, oh God, imagine being inside that. What does that say? Don't look at me. In case 
case of a health emergency, your child will be assisted to a Chica's Happy Hospital where Dr. Happy Chica will grinder. take care of your kid's trauma. R brilliant. Oh my god, yeah, trust trust that thing with you. you, you, you. Okay. Some shit from Outlast. Oh! Oh, oh man, that makes me feel weird. It's just the amount of times I had to go to a dentist to fix my fucked up English mouth. And the, the, they use those things that grind against your teeth and then they like inject you with stuff and they pull your teeth out. And to be fair, it wasn't even a dentist I went to. Two times a day. Oh. Remember, that's my two doctors. Yep. But I'm the parent. See, two lives came out, the two teeth about to fall out. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. Oh! Here at Barbara's Day. Oh, that makes me feel so weird. Our second name. The whole building Guess. have a system of lock lottery, so your child will be unable to exit the facility by himself. Well, that is terrifying. Hang on, what does that say? Let's have a look quick. Entering Barbara's daycare corridor system, you automatically accept terms of our safety politics. Entering Barbara's daycare corridor system without Barbara's daycare employee, you are breaking the, these agreements. Barbara daycare entrance employees bears full responsibility in case of disappearance of your child in Barbara's daycare corridor system. In case of... Di okay, employees bear full responsibility in case of disappearance. If any part of clothing child's property or body was found in the Barbara daycare corridor system, it does not suit term disappearance. What? Remember children, forest areas are dangerous. You can meet freaks, bears, and of course, kids. That was a straight up head, I think. Oh, you fuck! You bastard! Ah! What is happening? Oh, that's sad. I don't want to know what your baby looked like. Right. I mean, good luck with that. Oh, I'd hate to see what kind of parent that person the is. Butterfly effect, the more activity you show, the higher the chance of the next chapter. Ah, got ya. I'm gonna subscribe. That was really good. But there we go, guys. That was the last video. That was Cha Mamili. Cha Cha Mami Mamili. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that name. But I'm, yeah. That was very creative. A mixture of terrifying and slightly comical but yeah i really enjoyed it be sure to go subscribe guys with that that is the last video so if you did enjoy be sure to subscribe to all the creators down below like their videos show them your full support guys and if you enjoyed my reaction of said content then why not leave a like rating subscribe as i said i'm on a journey to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year any help would be greatly appreciated and yes thank you so much guys i appreciate you tuning in day by day and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.